Hello, Paul Caligiuri, here at Soccer One. I am with my former football colleague from Rostock. Thomas, how are you? Me geht's sehr gut. I'm I'm fine. Very good. Thank you. Was bringst du zu der NSCAA? Uh, I am uh, running a youth soccer club in uh, Chicago now, currently, and uh, ich uh, ja ich uh, besuche die NSCAA Convention, die Messe, uh, viele Trainer hier und ich uh, viele Connections und uh, guck mir some Sessions an und ja. Uh, yeah, Uh, meeting some old friends, uh, treffe some alte, Freu alte Freunde hier. Wo uh, haben wir erst kennengelernt? Ja, uh, yeah, wir haben zusammen in Rostock gespielt von uh, 1990 bis 1991. Uh, uh, Aufstieg in die Bundesliga geschafft. Uh, schöne Zeit. Uh, ja, yeah, gute Erinnerung. Danke. So, uh, I'm here, Paul Caligiuri, with Soccer One. I'm here with one of my former teammates from Hansa Rostock, Thomas Gaunzaga. How are you? Very good. I'm very good. Uh, thank you. Good seeing you. You good well. Looking good. So are you. I mean, it was a great surprise to meet you at the NSCA convention here in Baltimore. It's been a long time since Hansa Rostock. What do you remember about that period of life when I showed up from California and I joined Hansa Rostock? Yeah, that was. Uh, you're looking back. It was a. Uh, It was a very wild time for us as uh, Eastern Germans uh, growing up in communism and uh, all of a sudden everything was open uh, and you showed up as a, as a Californian U.S. boy in our team. It was uh, pretty unique and strange, but I think uh, through your open personality, outgoing personality, it was uh, not a problem for us. We connected right away and uh, I'm very happy to see you after 25 years. Uh, you're doing well, looking good. Uh, yeah, for us it was a great time back then. I remember when I showed up that you guys had these regiments of standing in line, being very structured, not a lot of freedom in necessarily like your, your and I think the freedom didn't allow you to express yourself on the field. And uh, you know, Uwe Reinders was our coach. He came in and uh, he brought me in. And I said, what am I doing here? And you guys asked the same questions like, why are you here? Yeah, I mean, uh, you have to understand, we, we grew up that way, very structured. Uh, you know, we didn't have a lot of uh a lot of things in, in East Germany and uh, everything was structured, you know, you had to wait in line for everything. Uh, and then on top of it, we are Germans, you know, structured anyway. So and then I think it helped for us uh, that Uwe Reinders as a Western German came in and completely changed our culture. And I think that was the one of the keys for our success, you know. We were, we were looking for that. We wanted to be free and we wanted to play different style and he came in brought you in and I think that was a it was a big key for our success um, in uh, at that time he told me you get the ball give it to Thomas that's our best chance to win do you believe that <laughs> I don't think he did that you know uh, yeah I was uh, I was a young player at that time I was very happy to be on the squad we had a great time uh, but I uh, I don't remember how many games I played but I was not a big part of that team but uh, it was still fun and uh, you know to be uh, to contribute as a as a player to the team did you feel I had a contribution Oh yeah, you did. Yeah, you were one of our better players. I think uh, right midfield. I think you played and uh, you know nice uh, runs over the wings and uh, yeah, you brought some good uh, spirit into our into our uh, squad. Yeah, for me it was a, one of the most greatest experiences I've ever had playing soccer was in Hansa Rostock, and I look back at the camaraderie, the friendship, the lifelong friendship. So for me, I saw you today, and I literally got goosebumps on my arm. I go, I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, I think that was one of the uh, one of the good things uh, in our uh, you know in our Eastern German community. We had a feeling of a family, and uh, everybody that came in was uh, welcomed. Uh, uh, once you're in, you're uh, your friend for life, and uh, I think that's that that was uh, what made our team. And uh, you know, we welcomed you. That was uh, for us a good experience as well. You know, to communicate with the U.S. American. You know, soccer player. We didn't even know soccer or football exists in the U.S. at that time. You know, it was. Uh, we were a little surprised. You know, the way you played, you played well, and uh, yeah, you know, it was a big part of our our team was the camaraderie, and uh, we learned that in in Eastern Eastern Germany. I remember being invited by some guys up to the place in Vanamunda. Mm -hmm. I forget the name of the hotel. It was something <laughs> called something, but in the bottom level, there was this little bar. 
I think that was part of my initiation. I think it was, uh, it was, yeah, Cafe 28 or something uh, could be. So yeah, that was uh, there was a lot of uh, team parties going on, you know. What and, was uh, the name of the hotel? It's on the tip of my tongue uh, here. There was the big hotel was the Neptune, Nep Neptune Hotel. Yes, yeah. that's a big one. Uh, uh, that that was our team hotel uh, for a while for for Hansa Rostock, and uh, down in the bottom. Oh yeah, now I remember. Uh, uh, the bar back in the days. Uh, it's okay. You don't have to admit to no, it. It's the, all good. The, the name was uh, Kuddle Duddle Do. There was some was some uh, Kuddle Duddle Do. <laughs> it's like a maritime, uh, you know, uh, theme for that for that. But yeah, that was a it was a good time. Thomas, one of the things you talked about, which I find extremely interesting, especially for the American public and the people, you you speak about you have to understand how we grew up, socialism, communism, way of life. Americans don't. So when you say you have to understand, we can't even comprehend it. Can you tell us some more details of things that you could best illustrate what you grew up for people in America? Yeah, I mean the 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 main problem back then for us as uh, as Eastern German growing up in the communism was uh, that we were not free to travel. And uh, anything else, I have to say I had a had a great childhood. It was very uh, yeah, very safe for us. Uh, we had everything. We didn't have the abundance what we have now, you know, in the capitalistic world. Uh, but uh, I think the main reason for people to to break out of uh, out of that uh, uh, system of society uh, was we wanted to travel. We wanted to be free, and I think uh, you know uh, that was that was our our goal. You know, that's why uh, the people, you know. Uh, stood up and uh, I think uh, yeah that was that was the main goal and I think uh, that's uh, we achieved it it was the uh, it was one of the few uh, revolutions in, in in the world actually in the history of the world that were without uh, firing one shot you just had to tear down a wall right you just had to tear down a wall and uh, you know mr. mr. Ronald Reagan said it nice, uh, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down the wall, you know, and we did it. I don't know how much he had to do with it, but, uh, you know. Well, Gorbachev had to listen, right? He had to listen, yeah, and I think, but I think it was the, the people in, in, in Eastern Germany that, that uh, did the main work. I'd agree. I mean, and when you look at it, you can't tear families apart. And they say blood is thicker than water, so there was a little river going through Berlin, and I think the the blood between the Germans was thicker than that river of water, right? Yes, definitely. And uh, I think we we always were connected uh, through TV. Anyway, we were able to watch TV from, so we were we knew what was going on, and I think that was, you know, that helped uh, for us as well to understand. And you know, what do we want? You know, we want the same. And tell me a little bit about how you did watch TV. You're explaining to me you had to hold yeah. the antenna. Yeah, so so we were so I grew up in um, uh, in a little island. Uh, it's called Rügen, and uh, so we were watching TV. Someone had to hold the antenna, kind of, and move around to actually get a little bit of a decent picture. You know, there was a lot of we call it snow, a lot of uh, you know snow on the TV. So, but uh, someone would have to move around and uh, in order to to get a decent picture to watch uh, uh, West TV. And what team did you follow? I mean, you're now part of a club in Chicago. Yeah. Schwaben. Schwaben, yeah, German. So Schwaben is not Rostock, it's in the south. So what team did you follow when you were growing up living in Rostock? And what club do you represent now in Chicago? And tell us a little bit about your life today. So my favorite club when I grew up in, uh, in East Germany uh, was the HSV, uh, HSV, Hamburger Sportverein. What? Yeah, they, they were my, that was my club. Uh, I'm calling the boys back at Hansa now and telling you like Amber, that's a rival. Uh, that's a rival, yeah, but uh, you know, I, I mean, looking over, I mean, you know, there was my favorite club in the Bundesliga. My favorite club, I grew up uh, at Hansa Rostock and I went all through the uh, academy, youth academy over there. So that was my dream was to play for the first team at Hansa. Uh, eventually I did. Uh, here I'm, I'm running a, uh, a club that was founded by German immigrants in 1926, uh, Schwaben Athletic Club uh, up in Chicago. Uh, Say that again, when? Yeah, 1926. Yeah, that is a, that's a, uh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's astonishing. Uh, it's a, you know, great heritage. Uh, we have, we have some nice grass fields, just like in Germany. We have a little clubhouse, just like in Germany. We have uh, board meetings. Uh, they were run just like in Germany. We have German bratwurst, uh, German beer. So it's, uh, it was kind of familiar for me. So 
and I'm very happy uh, to be uh, the director of coaching over there. After you sang all those things, when you threw the bratwurst out, I think I'm going to have to talk to my missus and say, let's get to Chicago and meet, Tom, meet up with Thomas. Definitely invited. Well, thank you, Thomas. I'm glad to see you again. Yeah, very good. It's uh, amazing that you're now helping American soccer grow in Chicago. I wish you all the best. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.